Oh, you see yourself already? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Good. So I just wanted to make sure that was all set. So now I'm going to share it to your page. Okay. I hate the your page, right? Yep. Yeah. Let's see, share, share to newsfeed, but I also want to give it a title. Um, what is it a title? There we go. Oh, it's there. Okay. Is it there? The title is there, but okay. Let me do Now I'm watching it, yep. but I don't know if it's on my Hate Your Facebook. You're you're watching it on my Zoom. So, yeah, I'm watching yep. it. On so I'm going to I'm changing. I'm putting this stuff in the comments first. Okay. And then, um, I'm gonna copy. Now, I'm watching it, but yep. I don't know if it's on my Hate It's not yet. It's not yet. You're watching it on my Zoom. So, yeah, I'm watching yeah. it on your. So I'm going to, I'm changing, I'm putting this stuff in the comments first. Okay. Okay. And I'm going to copy. I'm watching it. I don't need to put, take myself off. It's not yet. It's not yet. You're watching it on my Zoom. So, yeah, I'm watching it on your. Going to I'm putting this stuff in the comments first. Okay. 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 Yeah, but I just um, I just put it on um, mute, so you shouldn't hear it anymore. And now I'm putting the link on your page. So there we go. Okay. All right. Yay. So I, yeah, okay. So we're good to go. Hi, Zoe. Thanks for that production. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. Okay, I see you, I see myself, we're good to go. Can you hear it on your page, okay? Um, I don't hear it on my page. Mm. Oh. I don't know why I don't see it on my page. You don't see it on your Hey Fisha page? Mm -mm. I see it. You do? Okay. Yeah. So let me not touch it then. Perfect. Okay. You see? Oh, okay. Awesome. Can you see yourself? Yeah, I can see myself on Zoom. Yeah. But you can't see the um. Okay, hold on. Okay, I just posted it. You wrote on Hey Fisha's page. Okay. Down with an arm. Can you see it on your page? Mm. Okay. Okay, I'm I just watching it. it. You wrote on Kate Peach's page. I do. 
watching it, but I don't know if it's on Hate Me. I'm looking at it on your page. You're looking at it on my page. So if you're looking at my page, I'm trusted. Yep. You're all good. Yep. There's six, as a matter of fact, there's six people watching. Hi. Hey. So let me show you just so you can see. Okay. There you go. There's your page. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. So there's a little bit of a time lag. Okay. Between what we say, but um, yeah, I feel like we're good to go. Hi, Zoe. Thank you. That was good. Yeah. I okay. Agree. All right, I'm gonna stop texting. Okay. Wait. Okay. So we're recording. We're recording. It's Do brunch. What is that? Feedback? Have our drinks. Yes. <laughs> Where's your hot chocolate go? I would have my hot chocolate right here with my whiskey added. Okay, and I have my orange juice. No. Cheers. 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 It's, a, it's a virgin mimosa. <laughs> Why are you giving a virgin mimosa? I know. Because I got mad stuff to do. If I have one drink, I'll be like, woo, it's a party. And I want to focus. Okay. All right. Fine. Hi, Zoe. Thank you. Thank you for this. This is awesome. Yes, you're so welcome. All right, I'm ready. All right, so let's let's talk. I'm ready. Let's let's talk. How do you want to do this? I don't know. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just talk. We've done this before. We've <laughs> done it so many times. I know. We are shiny butterflies. <laughs> Why are we like um, all, all quiet now? <laughs> I know. We talk all day long, texting all day, and then we're like, what? Huh? Oh, um, you want to start with how we met? All right. I'm oh my gosh, yes. Let's start with how we met. Okay. All right. So I was just checking because um, my friend Sherry Pullum, who is uh, an artist and a creative as well, she just she just said hey to us. So I was just checking in, Hi, and we can hear. So okay. hopefully, hopefully they can hear us. We were, yeah, hopefully they can hear. Us. Okay. All right. So in a nutshell, I met Zoe almost a year ago. Wow. Oh my gosh. Yep, almost a year ago. Um, at a party of a mutual friend, Ebony Golden. Shout out to Ebony Golden. Yes. And that particular night, let me just say this, it was some like really dynamic people in the house, which is like a sidebar for just really networking and leaning into your community and things like that. Um, so it was a, and I wasn't even going to go because I was in such a funk. Uh -huh. It was like moving and I was like, I'm going to go. Uh -huh. I threw a good wig on and uh, yeah. great. <laughs> And I and I came and I sat beside Zoe because it was like the only seat available because I was late. And Zoe and I start talking. And I also have a media relations company, and we were talking about working together in that capacity. Maybe you should say who you are. Oh, hello. Are we really doing this? Maybe this does have some champagne in it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Zoe Flowers. Welcome to my Facebook page. Hi, I'm Thesha Shabazz from Hey Thesha, and I'm on Zoe's Facebook page. And my, your page, too. My bad, y'all. I just jumped right into it. My bad. We just jumped right in. Wow. Who are you? Who am I? Right. Yeah, okay. So we met at a party. We met at a party. And um, Zoe, then Corona hit. Let's just bring it into current. Then Corona hit. Wow. And, but no, we gotta go back to the party because at the party we were we had all these great ideas. We were talking we about were really all these like ratings and things that we wanted to do. Yeah, we were really vibing. Yeah, we were really vibing. We were all set. We were gonna work together. We were so, gonna have lunch. We were gonna have lunch. Yep. Yeah. After then, the holidays, and then December, and then Corona hit. So January, we were trying to have lunch, and yep. then Zoe was traveling because everybody knows y'all yep. on the page. Zoe is a wonderful. Um, racial speaker and uh, works works with equity and arts and Zoe was traveling and then it was February and Zoe won't travel in because Corona. That's right. And I was starting this new project um, called Hey Thesha and this is the page that it's on, you are on right now if you're watching Hey Thesha, also Hey Thesha on Instagram. And Zoe and I were texting and everyone, let's just put it into context, like January, February in New York City, everybody was like, WTF, what's going on? I don't know. I'm not going anywhere. Like, it was the 
beginning, 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 right? Mm -hmm. Which South Park feels so long ago. It's so, but I feel like that's how trauma works, though, because mm -hmm. um, it feels like it was long ago and it literally feels like it was yesterday. Wow. Same wow. time. At the but, same time. And I remember that the week, because I was supposed to go to the University of Florida to speak, yeah. and, we, and so that was like February, and we were trying to pick dates, and my Florida trip got canceled. Yeah. And so I was like, oh, maybe I can still, because I was so excited to meet with you. I was like, oh my gosh. Like when you reached out, I emailed, I texted Ebony right away. I was like, oh my God, Fisha reached out to me. Oh my God, she wants to. <laughs> yeah. so and we're both wearing work, by the way. Oh my God. Very interesting. Look at so, so I was so excited mm -hmm. to you. Mm -hmm. And then when I thought that I wasn't going to be able to meet with you, I was like, oh my gosh, I hope she doesn't think like I'm a flake or I'm scary because I was very cautious about Corona and we were going to meet at, at Brooklyn Blend around the corner. Yeah. And yep. then, and then, then things shut down and you were like, maybe we just need to do this by phone. Yep. I said, let's do this by phone. And everyone was like, all my artist friends, all my artist clients were like, what am I going to do? And I really, Zoe knows this, I have been a fan and I know the power of online and digital marketing. So this is for all you creatives, for all you artists, e-books, e-courses, e-anything that you don't have to send a product out, all right? And I was like, yo, this is how people are going to do it. Like, I don't care if this corona thing lasts for two years or one year. Like, this is what artists and creatives and entrepreneurs really need to shift. And I don't know why, I just felt that deeply within me in January and February. Like I did, I felt it deeply because I, being an artist and a creative and an entrepreneur for over 15 years, I know how quickly funds can go away, how projects can go away, how they can come quickly to and they can shift quickly. So I was looking at the writing on the wall and I was like, folks are gonna need to do something digital. And Zoe and I were texting and literally, I don't create anything if no one asks for it, right? So that's like a tip right there. Like, what does your audience want? What are people looking for? Or what's going on that people are interested in? And I was like, Zoe was like, I need, you know, I'm, I want to get some things in order. And she, I was like, what would you need from me? That's, that was the question. So I remember I was like, what, yeah. would, you, what would it look like for you? Yeah. And she, literally, Zoe was so, um, I call her my perfect student because she helped me even understand what to offer. She was like, okay, maybe five weeks, not four, because four is not long enough. I need like five good weeks and let's do an hour and then a check. -in. Like she literally helped the model of this course. And from that, I created a five week marketing and content course. And Zoe and I met for five weeks online. We would check in. Yep once a week additionally with that and Zoe killed it like she did every single piece of homework she did every uh exercise and let me just back up so this is not just like okay it's marketing post three times a day send two emails like we do a lot of mind work yeah like because I think people have to shift how they look at themselves as an artist like this struggling artist thing this always yeah. running after this dollar instead of things coming to you and coming to your lap because you're deserving of it, right? So we literally had a lot of shifting and mind shifting to do and mind building to do. Yeah. And I have to say, Zoe was a perfect student because in no time, she really started to shift. And this is uncomfortable shifting. You know, you're telling yourself like everything you kind of believe in about being an artist or about being a creative or about having a side hustle is like untrue and you need to do it differently. That's a hard pill to swallow. Mm -hmm. um, and every class she just brought it and brought it and we were just getting further and further and I think you start seeing results like week three right Zoe? Yeah. week three yeah yeah there was one crucial exercise that you had me do and um, it was like once I understood that then it was like I was able to just make the shift mm -hmm. and we're leaving out the fact that the day that you reached out to me, because we had the first meeting and it was like, yeah, I want some stuff, but I wasn't, but it was like March, I think by then. Mm -hmm. And so I had just left my job. And so I didn't really know what my money was going to look like because all of my speaking engagements had got pushed back and everything like that. 
And so around May, it was like, I was done. I was like, I'm finished with this art. Like, I'm I, like, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go work at the post office. Like, and that day you called like out of the blue, just checking in on a DM. And I was like, I don't listen to you. Like, how's it going? I was like, it's, it's not, I'm not doing art. Like it's a wrap. And then you like called me and it was just like, you know, you were just like, don't throw it out, like pivot, like think about things differently. And it was, and I was like, oh, okay, maybe. And then by the end of the call, I was like, let's just do the course. And we met that night. Yeah. 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 If anybody goes on my Instagram, like you'll see me, I have on black too. Wow, that's crazy. I have on black for that particular line. I was like, I'm getting ready for this new course, but this is what I wanted to share. And I shared with my Instagram following literally what came out of our conversation. And let me just say something too, like a lot of this work I'm familiar with. My husband's a playwright. Like I am around artists. One of my best friends is a, is an artist. Like I'm around creatives and artists quite a lot, but I also, mix a lot of mind power that I've kind of learned and gone through as an entrepreneur for 15 years in New York City. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what I teach, I've lived it and I'm constantly learning with it too. Yeah. And I, I can't say that enough because this is not like, so I don't know everything. I don't know, you know, I'm, I'm learning too. But right. I truly believe that the internet has changed the game for creatives. And if we look at it differently and look at the access that comes with it and then get our minds ready too, right? It can cancel out that struggle in artist concept. It can cancel out that I have to work 27 jobs concept. It can cancel out that I don't know what this stuff is and how does this rely to me getting work. It's actually just the opposite. It's a pool of people. You can actually coach and, and meet more people that can take your equity workshop than you ever could. You would have to travel every single day of the year to get the results you're getting. So it's a shift that I myself have gone through and now I teach people how to do it because I've lived it. Yeah. That, yeah. Well, it makes total sense. And I think that, so for people that don't know, I have a pilot that I've been working on for three years now. And that was part of the reason why I was done because it was like taking so long. But I think that that mind thing. And I've been, you know, I work with the mind as well. And I think that's why I was able to just like latch on because we were speaking the same language. And I also think that when things are like slow or they're not quote unquote mm -hmm. going your way, it's easy to lose that stuff. Mm -hmm. But I think that what was important was that you gave me things to do so that I wasn't so focused on the creative. Mm -hmm. it was like, oh, okay. Well, I don't have Hollywood is closed. Like I don't have, I can't control that. However, what I can do is do my tarot on my YouTube pages. Cause guess what? I really love reading tarot on my YouTube channel. So I'm going to focus on my YouTube channel and, oh, I can also focus on my Instagram and, oh, I also need to like work on the things that the mental blocks. Mm -hmm. So it also gave my mind something to focus on mm -hmm. and every week it was like step by step which is what I always need like even from which is why I only go to a few tarot like readers or whatever <laughs> because I like readers that tell me go outside take a left be on the corner at two o'clock like I like step by step by step by step that's just how that's how I need my information to be delivered so that I, and I just literally was like okay I need to do this 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 and I just followed exactly what you said to do mm -hmm. once once it was like my mind clicked into it I was able to follow it and it was not hard and you know for me as a person who had a full-time job for a long time and I shared this with you like I if I had had the money I might have been like these should just do all this social media stuff for me yeah yeah. But I couldn't yeah. afford to do it. I had to do it myself. Yeah. And thank God I did because I feel more of an ownership and now yeah. I know what I need to do. So all my Instagram posts are very intentional now. And sometimes yeah. I don't even, you know, text each other at like 11 o'clock at night and be like, is this post okay? <laughs> is this post all right. And I'm glad that I had to do it myself. Yeah. Can I ask you something though? I want to, that was so dope. That was like so much context. Two things stood out to me. When you said step by step by step by step by step, 
yeah. a lot of artists are not like that. A lot of creatives are not like that. Some of us are, like yeah. I am. I need mean step by step. And that's why I teach like that, because that's the kind of student I am. Yes. What would you say to the artist that is not like that? Or maybe is it, and maybe I don't want to put words in your mouth, are you saying they need to shift and do more of that? Yes, of course they do. I mean, I think that I have a I have an entrepreneurial mindset. I come from a family of entrepreneurs outside of Capricorn Rising. So so even though I can like be out there and visionary, but I'm also like this. Mm-hmm. And and it's not easy. I don't follow through with everything. I just took a 10 week screenwriting course and I didn't even turn in my whole spec script. Mm-hmm. And so as I'm talking to you, I'm like, what what was it? in this in the in the styles where i was able to take what you gave me and do everything you did but not do what i was supposed to do for my screenwriting like my screenwriting class only did 18 pages yeah so, you know can i say something too with that zoe and this is just to people that are listening and yeah. i don't know why it could be you because zoe is a reader and and beautiful with the mind and the spirit and arising i feel like what i'm about to say is just a blessing to somebody i don't know who but I feel like, like I just wanted to sit up because I feel like something is going straight to you. Yeah. So when you were, and I got this from another coach. I can't quote this is my terminology, but I have stuck with it. You were in a hate place. Hate is not a bad word as we've been taught it is. If we hate where we are at that moment, it will shift us to change. That's right. You were, in, and, and that's sometimes I'd rather hate something than be indifferent to it. Yeah. Because if you're indifferent to it, you might just be like, oh. Yeah. This, Windows shades broken. I gotta get that. Yeah. But if you hate that shit, yep. you're gonna say, I can't take this anymore. Yeah. And I'm telling you, for people who can't take it anymore, I really feel powerful like I was speaking to someone. If you can't take it anymore, if you can't take, you know, not having enough, if you're if you can't take it anymore, if your creative juice is not getting out of you, if you can't take anymore, if you know you're needing an extra couple of hundreds or thousands a month and you're like, I could be I want to learn how to use the internet like folks are using it, then this course is for you because I'm teaching regiment, I'm teaching systems, and I'm teaching you things to do to get it. And, and when you're kind of at that hate point, and I've been there, I have been there in my freaking life, that's when you're going to see change. And sometimes, but I'll say this, and I, for the person, I got this from this coach named George Pitts. He was like, don't wait until you get to that hate point. That's right. So they can learn from you and me, you know, Zoe, like, wow, if I'm headed down there in a second, let me pivot That's right. pivot to, to, to make a change. And then talk about when you talked about the mindset, why didn't you finish a screenwriting class or why don't we finish a lot of things, whatever. You know, Zoe, when it would be something in class with homework, I would say, okay, Zoe, before we go into this next lesson, let's talk about what, what was it about homework number three that you didn't do? And we would like get serious and get yeah. deep. And I just did this with a student, like she was on it, she was writing. And then one week, like we met, she didn't write anything. I'm like, what's that really about? And she admitted, she was like, I really sometimes don't think I'm the expert of what I'm writing about. I was like, oh, okay. So that's why you didn't have your 15 pages. So let's kill that right now. Right. Here's you're the expert. You've been doing this for 20 years. You've, you've effed up. And when you mess up, that's, that's teachable moments to teach people why, what not to do. And you can tell me right now what you would do in a day in a situation, in that situation that someone else couldn't. So that immediately loosened up that blockage, yep. boom, it exploded it through, and she can go ahead and do the writing. Yeah, and even, and by the way, I just got another speaking inquiry that just came across my... Yo, this is why she's my person. <laughs> Like Zoe, I, I'm serious. Like we go, man, boy, oh boy. I literally it just it just came across my computer. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> so anyway, wow. Like, like Zoe I, shows up too, y'all. For real. Zoe, Zoe does that work. So shout but out. I, to you. But I think even if you don't think of yourself as that person or you struggle with procrastination, because these are things that I struggle with, but mm-hmm. we can exercise these muscles. We can work through these things, but we need yeah. a system to push us through. Yeah, we're confident, and we need a person that we know that we can like also check in with, right? So there are some things that I was that I came here with, the the way you know I'm built or whatever, yeah. but I still needed that help. I still yeah. needed a regimen, and I still needed a person, to, and I still do. Like, to and, just, and that's how we're still doing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
but I want to say, you know, it's really something interesting with that too, Zoe. That's why my class is live. So a lot of, I have a digital class, Instagram for beginners, if anybody's interested in it, that is an online class that you watch on your own. But sometimes I, I literally, I look at my numbers, people will buy it. And then I can see five people watching it and other people didn't. It's natural to procrastinate about these things. But that's why this marketing content course is so bomb because every Wednesday you got to show up. I mean, we have class every Wednesday at a certain time. Like, it, if someone starts class, they're like, I can't make it every Wednesday at 6. I'm like, well, you need to reconfigure your schedule to make it every Wednesday at 6 o'clock. So, you know, I think that's the thing, especially with where we're at, too, like with the world. There's so much coming at us. There's yeah. Literally, you can go on Instagram or Facebook, and it's a rabbit hole. When you are clear, and, and I can help folks with clarity, because that's I'm good at that, you know? Listen, what do you want and how are you going to make that happen like that like let's clear all this other stuff out like sometimes we make this shit super i hope your mommy cussing zoe super do our cussing class no i love her we make it super complicated and it's not that complicated right you got to get in the system gets what's blocking us and let's work through it and i tell people this all the time i swear to god you know this zoe when you do it week one or week two your confidence starts to soar naturally that you're completing the task yourself yeah. Now we're just reviewing. You know? Yeah. I, I think that's so big. Like, I mean, I say this all the time. You wanna you wanna promise something to yourself? Complete what you said you're gonna complete. Yeah. How many of us don't do that? Yeah. You wanna do something bold? Say you're gonna do something and do it. Yeah. Put a time and date on it and say you're gonna do it, you know? And I, 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 I'm so passionate about this, not because I'm perfect, but because I've done it in my life and I'm like, well, I did that a little bit, so I can show up more and more. And I want to encourage as many people to do this as well. And then number two, I think the internet, I keep saying this, it's, 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 it's the golden egg. Listen, so I was with Ebony yesterday and I'm going back to see her later <laughs> after we get off this call. And we were talking and I was like, I cannot believe, and I can, that I built my business in my mother's bedroom, like in a little green room, like. A real green room, y'all. We were zooming and I would be looking at that green room. <laughs> like, a, like in my grandparents' bedroom, like yeah. what? I mean, and, 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 and you helped me to shift in so many ways. Like one is like to doing these racial equity conversations i wasn't thinking about doing that you were the one that was like you could you could do that in your sleep and i was like i don't know about that and just started putting the things together and it's like mm -hmm. it, it just is it, and it's totally different and it's like it's hard work mm -hmm. but i like it even though it's we were talking about that before get you get you get your get your cup <laughs> get your drink even though it's challenging, yeah, I like it because I like interacting with people. And then the piece about the internet, I've, I've done so many workshops and healing and meditation things with people that were in Germany, everywhere. Like the reach with the internet is so yes. much yes. bigger. Yes. Uh, so yes. just my uh, healing meditation workshops alone that I was doing through the Vera Institute, I reached over 4,000 people yeah. from March to June, because then in June they rehired me. But like from March to June total, yeah. I reached well over, yeah, 4,000 yeah. folks. And and I just want to say, everybody, this is what I also do with Zoe. So like we would have homework for her Instagram and for her page, but then I help people like think of other ways to make money, other streams of income. Yeah. So this, literally, this was like a, like a, a sleep project that all she had to do was, I literally said, Zoe, do not create anything. Yep. Look at your notes and use a PowerPoint. She had that in her sleep. And a lot of times we literally could be getting another bag online. It could be an ebook. This could be something that you've already created. And the thing about it, when we're in a low spot, we sometimes don't see the creativity or the things that we've already done or how these things could be monetized, how we can make money from them. And a little bit, you know, let me just speak on this for a second, too. I think a little, a little bit, sometimes artists feel like that's um, being thirsty or it's a little bit cheap. It is not. Like, you are creative, and if you have something 
An exchange of money is the natural process. You deserve to get paid for that. You are worthy to get paid for that. Zoe has had over 20 years of experience with arts, using arts as a form of activism, a form of freedom, a form of um, knowledge, and meditation and healing. Why shouldn't she be doing meditations on a Tuesday? Why can't she do racial equity workshops? You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, we have to shift how we look at this. And I said this on my Instagram today, because if you shift it, you're sitting on a million dollar idea. Yes. I mean, literally, so I'm looking at you now, I'm like, you are an institute. For real, that's, that's like what, you, that's like what your, your, your business is. It's an institute of knowledge through racial equity, through art, through using arts as healing. That is an institute. Yeah. And yeah. it can thrive because of the internet. Because of the internet. And it was, again, something that I know at first that, you know, and so don't limit yourself to what you think you can do and what you can't. Yeah. Because at first I was like, I don't do that. I talk about racial justice in terms of domestic violence because that's how I've always talked about race. Mm -hmm. And I can't just talk about race by itself. And I was like, uh, yes, you can. <laughs> and, it's more, and so I did. I looked at some it's of the same thing. <laughs> I looked at some of those older PowerPoints that I had and I infused them with new knowledge for today and new works and bought white privilege and white rage and just what I know. Yeah. And now it's like little, I mean, you, know, you know, there were like weeks where I was like three trainings in one day, two trainings in one day. Like last week I was trying to find you and you were like, Tisha, I can't talk. I'm in a train. Like remember? Yeah. From dusk to dawn. And, and so this weekend, what I did this weekend was I went on my Calendly. So for folks who want healing and consulting services, you can go to my Calendly, um, which the link will be in the, in the chats. Um, but I went through my Calendly and I was like, why do I have all these services available every day? I can't do this every day. So now it's like astrology charts on Sunday. Mm -hmm. It's past, present, future readings on a Saturday. I'm only doing healing and coaching clients on a Monday, Tuesday, and a Wednesday. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think maybe Friday. But there's mm -hmm. all, like, I put time limits. I put day limits. I went through every single one of the myriad of services that I provide mm -hmm. in my institute. Mm -hmm. And was like, I can't, I can't just be available to mm -hmm. everybody all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, wow, that I'm here. Like, Four or five months later, what, May, June, July, August, September, October, five months after our first session. Wow. I'm like now thinking, you know what? I don't think I want to meet my healing and wellness co uh, clients every week. I feel like that's too much. For but I have an idea about that, and I don't want to share okay, it. Right. That's a that's a one on one coaching. I just it, yeah. it just smacked me in the head. I yeah. But when you say that, Zoe, I mean, literally, you went from like. I'm going to go to the post office to now you have more business. No, literally you have more business than you even, you still want it. I don't want to say more business, than you, but you have more business than you have time. So you're finding different ways. Like you might even want to train someone. Look at the access that that has allowed. And then I love, it's something you said. You said, I already knew this. I already knew this. See, that's the thing. Like I get it. I'm on Facebook. You get all these ads for courses and stuff. I'm, not, I'm teaching folks how to utilize what they already know to yeah. get that back online. Yeah. And folks, and then people are like, no, I'm not an expert. You work in that job for 15 years and you're not an expert? You're a literal expert. I mean, it's like- And you know who knows it? You're the people that pay you the income that is not matched to your worth. They know it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a it's a hundred percent true, and I was like, oh, I can do racial. Of course, I can do racial equity. Listen, I've been doing listening sessions for like ten years. Of course, yeah. I can do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's scary, and it's new, and it's unfamiliar, and you have okay. to put yourself out there. But so what? I mean, literally, folks. Like, this is. I mean, if we've seen anything with this year, like anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything. I am in a Anything. completely different place. Oh man. You inspire me, Zoe. You inspire me. That's so amazing. I mean, talking about like my sister, like we're talking about me hiring her so she can handle my schedule. Like now I feel like I can actually pay someone. Girl, you better it's crazy. Oh, yes. 
and and before for and so we have to talk about the fear and like the playing small because yeah. for so long I didn't think that I could afford to pay anyone and I've needed help for a long time I've needed help for years but I never yeah. felt like I could afford it because I always have been like afraid even with like all of my stuff that I know there's been that part of me that's been afraid like the money's gonna run out and then I'm not gonna be able to pay but now it's like I can't afford not to have help. Right. Let's talk about that fear then, Zoe. Let's talk about that fear. Like, how did my course help you overcome that fear of playing small? And I don't know how to do it. And, and how, how did you? Yeah, just walk, walk us through that. Literally three weeks after we started working together, I, my clients started doubling. Yeah. Like, within three weeks. And then you were like, you don't have to have everything together just let people know what you're doing and when I let people know what I was doing like literally that day two organizations called mm. me mm. and one of them was a huge contract the contract was so huge I didn't even know how huge it was mm. until I was like oh let me go back and read this contract <laughs> oh my god this is like really great and so my confidence just just grew well what also was like you had me list out all the things I've already done once that's I saw all that's one of my major exercises. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute, of course I can do like I can do yeah. what I want. Yeah. It's so crazy how the human mind, you know, and, the, and again, this goes back to the world and the the negativity that lives out in the world, equally with the positivity. But you know, with images and in television and media, we see so many negative things about ourselves that even when we've accomplished things. We feel like an imposter. We yeah. feel like we don't belong. We feel unworthy. I don't know how many people are like, I'm sitting in the boardroom uh, or on a Zoom call and I'm like, am I supposed to be here? Yes, you are. We have to call to mind what we've done. We have to call to mind the times we've overcome. We have to call to mind the times we've won and the times we've done what we said we're gonna do. Because when we do that, it gives us the strength to know that we can do the next thing we're afraid of. Absolutely. And the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Nobody comes into the world just confident. Confidence is acquired from mm -hmm. this exercise of doing. I mean, Zoe, I can just tell, even though we haven't seen each other in months, from the internet, I know, and because we text as well, I know you're in a different place. I can see your, the energy on your body. Like, it's totally, it's a winning energy. You're the same person. Yeah. But I feel like, I, it's funny because when I came home from my friend's house, I was like, it feels really good to like be around people who are winning. And it's like also, wow. it's like uh, looking at my friends, I'm like, yeah, my friends wouldn't have like slouches around. Yeah, yeah. Even so, your crew, yeah, look at that. Even your crew, yeah. It's important to have a reflection of mm -hmm. who you are and who you want to be around you. Because mm -hmm. even though I know all the things that you're saying, when you're in that low place, when I was in that low place or when I've been in a low place, I can't access mm. the things that I did. Like there are times when I'm like, yeah, I've done that before, I can do this too. But when I was in that low place, I couldn't access, or, or none of those things matter. So how do we access it? Talk so about like, how do we, how do you access your highest self? Is it the exercise that we do in class? What, how do you access so you can, because really we have to rise up and then comes the, 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 the blessings, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You have to literally change the energy there first and then it'll be matched. So how do you do that? I know how that's, I'm asking. <laughs> well, I just think about when I, you know, when I was in that low place, you know, mm -hmm. and I've been in some low places, but it's like, it's so important to have something else to focus on. I think too, something else that you can do. Like, it's one thing to say accomplish something and then you'll feel confident. But if you don't feel confident, then it's going to be hard to accomplish something, right? So it's like one of those catch 22s. So it's like small steps and like celebrating each little step. Mm -hmm. But again, just when you feel, when I have felt like a failure, it's been so hard to see the other mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's hard. So you have to reach out to people. You have to ask for help. Um, a lot of other, you use a lot of quotes in your work. I love and quotes. So I've started looking at a lot of quotes. And, um, and I also, over time, I study different people, mm -hmm. different people's success stories. And it's like a lot of people who 
what do they say? Failing up, failing forward. Like mm -hmm. most people who are successful, you fail like a million times. A million times. A million a million times. times. And it's also like, what are you setting a mark for success too, I think. Like, what do you really think success is? And I think yeah. that's something that's changed for me. Definitions. Through the pandemic, through 2020, like changing what I think success means and taking the pressure off of myself and just focusing on the homework you gave me and not being so attached to the outcome, but doing the thing that you said to do. It's so like, you want more Instagram followers? Here's how you do it. And I was like, all right, let me try it. And then I'm texting you, oh my God, Fisha, I have more. It, like, yeah. just do what your coaches tell you to do. And I'm a coach and I'm saying, like, just do it. And I'm a coach, do what I say. Do what I say and you'll be fine. <laughs> That's right. I just follow the directions. That's all I have to do. I read somewhere today is like National Coach Day. I'm not sure about that, but I think I read that. I read, you know, Instagram. I think I read that. I think I read that. Yeah. National Coach Day? I think it is. I think it is. I think it is. Yeah, just do what your coaches tell you to do. Just do, just do, just follow the steps. And everybody says that, right? Like AA, yep. um, all, all of the, they're like, just follow the steps. It works if you yeah. work it. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have paid money before for coaching, half showed up, I didn't get any results, right? But every time I've had a coach and I've done what the coaches tell me to do, it takes me to another level. Wow. 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 So just get a coach. I'm a coach, folks. Get a coach. Yeah. Get a coach. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you can't not afford, you know, so many things that I thought I couldn't afford, like you can't not afford to have a coach. Like if you're not where you want to be, get a coach. Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. I tell you all, I'm serious. Zoe is a wonderful student. Um, she's a wonderful coach because she is a wonderful student because wonderful coaches are wonderful students. Mm -hmm. They are. I'm a student of life. Um, and uh, I just, I just, I, I love to see your growth in these five months. I can't wait to see where it's going to go like in a year. Like it's going to be crazy because it inspires me to keep teaching because I want other victory stories like yours. Yeah. yeah. I That's think. what I like to see too. I was think it's important to get like have a coach that gets coaching as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, because we get to see that joy when our when our students make change, they have breakthroughs, and all those things are are critical. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Is that it? That's that's good. That's great. You know. <laughs> Anybody interested, the marketing and content course, the course that Zoe took, uh, starts live tomorrow, Wednesday, October 7th, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, you can DM me. There is a link. Um, but if you want to DM me, I can be followed at Hey Thesha. Um, that's my name right there, uh, at Hey Thesha. Yeah, this is, I really, I really, I love what I get to do. I love the transformation that happens. That's why I love to hear from Zoe. Uh, she told me something else that I'm not going to mention on this, but it was just, I, I literally, I, I text her and I cried because I told her that she, it was such a victory that she's wanted for a very long time. And she got it through these tools, through the internet, because I believe in the internet and social media, especially Instagram, which is my favorite uh, form of social media. I think it can change. And um, I just really want creatives to, to stop struggling out here, to stop starving. Um, because I know, like you were saying, that low point, I know that low point as an entrepreneur. And when you're in that low point, you cannot produce. I think Eckhart Tollhart talks about that. He was like, when the, when the mind is afraid, it, it can't, it, it's impossible. It's impossible. It's impossible, literally, because your body is like, I'm not gonna make it. I'm not, this is, I'm not well, right? So you have to get out of that space. I am well. I am healed. I can make it. And then when you get out of that space, you'll be surprised at the ideas that start to trickle in. I mean, I have to, I have to meditate to calm myself down at night because I'm just, yeah. I'm, in, I'm in state. Yeah. I'm in state. 
with with the possibilities and with my ideas and with the creativity that comes from business. And I love to share that with my clients and, and folks I coach. I really, really, really do. And I didn't want to do marketing and I didn't want to do the you business didn't. part of it at all. And and it's like now it's different. It's like I I went in, I got into my website for years, like years I knew my website needed to be updated. Mm-hmm. And then it was I think it was after our after our that iteration of our work was done, I was like, why am I not updating? I know how to do WordPress. I can go in and do like a little bit of it's like once you accomplish one thing in your business it opens you up to like, oh, I can do that too. Mm -hmm. And And you know, it's funny, I wanted to talk about that though. You know, we do do social media management. So like I'm hired by a lot of folks who do not want to do it and they do it. But I always think about Nipsey Hussle. He says, you know, before he got a deal or whatever, he he used to be his own engineer. He was like, so when an engineer would do something, I'm like, yo, that's not right. He knew how to do it. You know how to do it. I can see in a year or two, Zoe, you leading marketing to a marketing agency you can call us uh to a marketing agency a marketing team but you know how to do this in the end you know how to do it you know how to do it right you know how to work it's your brand so you're very familiar with it and i think sometimes people don't want to do this work because they're like oh i just don't want to do it they really don't want to get that vulnerable and deep with their work you need to know how to do this it's your business no one is going to know it like you do no one is going to understand it like you do nobody i can assist you but you know it down to the core and then i always think about um i heard one coach say you're either going to pay in time or money so if you don't want to do it pay somebody to do it or you learn it and you put the time in it yourself and it'll and then you save the money it's it's up to you but i'm of the school of thought learn it you teach a man to fish what is it teach a man to fish and he'll never starve again yeah. give a man a fish and you know he'll ask you for another fish tomorrow i don't know how to say it but you know what i'm saying yeah and you're reminding me that i didn't i don't think i really knew what i was even offering i didn't even really know what my brand was like right. I, and I've been doing this work for so long, but I always was stuck on what am I, what, what am I doing? And remember we came up with like a, a purpose statement. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. that was one of the things that I was like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And so I don't know how many people out there are like me, where you've been yeah. doing this work for so long. You got your well, Several different thing, kinds of work. You know, like you're like, well, I do this and this and this and this. And they're like, how do they connect? And really it's like, well, they connect like this. It's very simple. But it wasn't simple to me. Right, right. But now it is. I mean, like, when even when I just said it, I was like, you do healing arts, you do uh, equity work, you do spiritual work. Like, that makes so much sense to me. Yeah. But it didn't make sense to me. And so that's scary if you, like, have a business and you... Oh, I just had a revelation. That is scary because if you don't know that and you don't know how they're connected, how are you pitching yourself? How are you marketing yourself? How are you getting... Whoa. You're hiding. Ooh. Or you're half doing it. Wow. That's what I was doing. Wow. Because I really didn't know what I was offering people. Yeah, yeah. I didn't have a sense of it. Yeah. So there you go. Wow. Every time we do this, I just, I, you, you just, you blow me. You give me mad content Yay. Uh, because it's, it's, it's all ideas. So right. yes, yes. Thank you, Zoe. Yes. Thank my, you. My orange is gone, but thank you. Cheers to you. Mine too. My hot chocolate is gone. Cheers. Cheers. And I see your, I see your app feature down here. So I'm, I'm also, I, 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 I'm quick. I'm going to promptly change my, my signature as well. I see you at Hey Fisha. At Hey Fisha, yeah. I'm changing mine. That's I cute, right? Yep. That. I see that. <laughs> as soon as we get off this call. Dude, that's what we do. That's why we have it. And I and remember that idea because I got an idea for you. It just hit me too. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Zoe. Thank you very much. I appreciate You're you. Welcome. It was so Thank fun. You. Yeah. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it. So please check out Thesha's course. Check me out. Yes. And uh, yeah. Get your life. <laughs> enjoy your life. Your life. Get your life, folks. Yeah. Enjoy get your life. life. Seriously, get your life. You know, take responsibility for it. It's yours. It's beautiful. It can be what you want it to be. Yeah. 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 All right. All right, Zoe. Thank you. Okay. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, everyone.